Previously on Zakia Loves Pinto. And my throat feel like it's closing. And I don't know how I even made it through. My heart is like this. I am so grateful for her. Heart was racing. It was I honestly crazy. felt bad. Like I wanted to, I wanted to cry for you because I actually saw how tired you were. You Do know? you feel like this will ever get too much for you? Like no, dealing with my acid no. reflux. Zakia dealing with acid reflux is not a burden on me at all. I know it is a burden on her, and it breaks my heart when I see just the episodes and the pain and the exhaustion and the fear and the being up at night and not being able to sleep and um, just seeing just the fear in her. Um, it's not a burden. If anything, I want to find a cure. I want to be able to find that doctor that is able to fix that because I want her to feel like she doesn't ever have to worry about it ever again. She doesn't have to have another session of um, not being able to breathe or of throwing up. Um, it's I wish that I could cure that from her because um, it makes it makes me sad. You know, when she cries, I cry, and it's even emotional just thinking about it because I know how much it does take a toll on her. But by far. Zakia acid reflux is not a burden on me and never will be. It's not, you can't you can't help that. You can't help that. You didn't ask for it. It's not a choice. You know what I'm saying? I know, but I really don't want it to take away from no. the things that you have to get done during the day. You know what I mean? If anything, knowing how it takes a toll of you mentally is the only thing that concerns me because I want you to always feel good you know but I know that when you have those episodes it scares you you know and then it gives you anxiety and then you know mentally like you can just kind of get in this mood Spin out. yeah where you you know you can't do anything I feel like yeah it was hard for me to control my thoughts last night like my mind was just all over the place <laughs> as a reflex me actually not even acid reflux the flare-up and the anxiety that comes with the flare-up be making your mind feel like you are crazy okay i feel like i'm crazy most of the time like it gives me these dark thoughts that i can't control it gives me these thoughts of death that i feel like i can't control and even with the praying, the speaking in tongues, and all the different methods that I try to use, sometimes it just you just can't stop thinking about it because it just gets really intense. It's a feeling. It's just a scary feeling. Because when you think about it, you can't control your mind, you can't control your thoughts, you just don't know where it's gonna go. And I, you try to just reel it back in. It, and it's hard, it's hard to reel it back in. Like if I have a crazy thought, not, let me not say crazy oh, thought, but if I have a scary thought, I have to okay. then combat it with like, you crazy. I yeah. say that to myself in my head, yeah. but it still doesn't help. Like what kind of things do you think about? Well, I mean, I think about me dying. You know, I don't want you to think about death like, it's tomorrow. That's how I feel like you think it, about it. I do. Today. I feel like I, I, I feel like I had to stay awake to make sure I made it to the day. You think about death. Balance that out with as much as you want to live. You know? I try to do that. 
but it's really difficult. It is, it's really difficult. I appreciate your help because I feel like you help me just make it through those tough nights. And you do it just so easily. And you, you always know. take care of me. Like, I got it. Even with all that, you still take care of me, you know? So I'm always take care of you. We Baby. stuck at the Sometimes. knee, girl. We're stuck. Baby. We're stuck. <laughs> We are not the same. Oh. We are not the same. I'm, you thought I was feeling you? Your face is I mean, I don't like the texture. It's like melting in your mouth. Wow. Oh, right there. Damn. Ew. Oh, bad. I'm sorry. Wow. Y'all visiting from somewhere? Nope. Let me get some ketchup. Oh, I need some hot sauce. Hot sauce for what? Hot sauce. You know she is sauce queen. Yes, I am a sauce queen. Okay. This. I need all the sauces, whatever you got. Bring it, okay? I wish it was a job that I could travel the world and just taste every sauce in every restaurant and also allow me to make up a special sauce and name it after me. I am the Big Dipper. I am the Saucy Queen. Saucy Santana, I'm coming for you, okay? Because that was supposed to be me. Call me Saucy Pinto. There we go. Oh, why don't you put some of the salsa? This is some chipotle. Uh, oh, yeah. some, um, some chipotle mayo. Now on the way back, we're gonna have to turn up the speaker. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, because yeah. the music is too important. Like, does it detect people crossing or? So that'll be on your oh, driver's right. right. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm the sauce queen, I'm the sauce king, whatever you want to name it. This dog is over here snoring. It must be some good ass sleep. <sighs> Maggie, shut up girl. Golly. Maggie, please. Well, she gonna have her loud. own bloopers. <laughs> she just loud. Yeah, we give thanks that you need it the most. We have to give 